I don't know what to do. The sun's up, but it was so cold in the house that I put this really thick sweatshirt on. Felt good when I put it on. I've been fighting the cold all day today. Anyway, it's warm. It's okay, I'm keeping it on even though the weather outside is warmer, actually warmer than inside my house. Gosh, it feels so good outside. Can you feel the fresh air? I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and 99 cent only store you guys and I'm gonna take you with me I'm gonna do a little um, I have both windows down so my hair is all over the place I'm gonna do a little shop with me at both places my only thing that I want to go get is they have those shelf stable carton of packages of the almond milk and I have some in my food prepping stash, but I've been using it because I ran out of the regular kind that I pick up at, at the grocery store. I usually get it at Walmart, but I've stopped. I'm, I'm trying really hard not to shop at Walmart. They don't have the kind of milk that I like at uh, Aldi. But they do have it at Dollar Tree and 99 cent only store. Difference between Aldi and the 99 cent only stores, one's 99 cents and the other's a dollar twenty-five. So I'm gonna try to get it at 99 cent only store. <laughs> I can't get regular milk. I'm so um I have my body just does not like any kind of dairy milk milk Ugh. anyway but i love almond milk and coconut milk and the khalifa's almond the mail truck broke down on the side of the road and the mailman's working on it that's so weird for the mailman to be underneath that's weird anyway you guys i'm still dealing with the dilemma of my broken um, main water line to the house as soon as I get any kind of updates, I will share. And you know, I'm picking up mom right now so she can go with me. And so she can get out and enjoy the sunshine. Hi. Wednesday, March 2nd. Can you, I just, I've never seen one this low and this close to, over my house, exactly over my house. What the heck? Um, there's the tree. Let me put my glasses on and see. Let's see what I'm looking at. Okay, there it is right there. There's still quite a few lemons up there, but there's so many little tiny branches that it's hard for me to get the tree tool in. Let me show you right here. So it's a little hard to get that in between all of those. And there's a lot of thorny branches. Oh, are we getting another fresh one? Look, this one's in the process of putting more right above us, crisscross. Oh my gosh. Just got to cleaning out the cat box. And I look this way. There's a, let me come. Look at all those. This little plane up here is hard at work. He's going all over the place. Look at all those chemtrails over there. 
Look at this one. That is, these are chemtrails because they're not disappearing. It's not just like a jet stream that disappears right away. This is evaporating, or not evaporating. It's falling into, on top of us, on top of me. I'm going inside. the nature of the birds singing in the morning but look at that you guys he's still over there he's flying he's going back and forth back and forth those are chemtrails those are chemtrails and why is that plane bird whatever that is that's spraying us he just keeps going back and forth doing this so it's not a random plane flying and releasing its, um, I don't know, jet butt air, whatever that stuff is. No, this, these are chemtrails. These are intentional. And he's still doing it. Just look at that. Listen to the birds. my favorite part of the morning watching the sun come up and listening to the birds it's freezing right now it's beautiful but it's freezing out here more chemtrails I'm basically just coming to see what they have um, in way of Easter bunnies and Easter stuff. Some swimming poles. There's a lot of people in here. And let's just go this way. I'm being embarrassed. I'm being bashful. I have those waters. They're a dollar. Getting prices and things. So we have canned foods. Okay, prices are still kind of semi the same, which is not bad. Really finding any bunnies yet? I just asked for public restrooms. They're out of order though. All of them. So 13. I always eyeball these. I like them. It's a little pricey for me. It's really nice. stuff here. How much are these? Gardening stuff. I like those. Or pots. 
up there. Those white ones are pretty, but I love the terracotta look. Those are nice. So I'm seriously trying to reset this thing in my car to hide the, um, you know, this part. Because when I have this phone thingamajigger turned the other way, you can see all of this. See, all that. <laughs> so I'm trying to change it, but... It messes up my my driving thingy. I don't know. Uh, because I wanted to yap at y'all while I drive. I don't know. Let's see if this would be safe for my driving. Mm. I actually wanted to come in here, pop in here, and say happy Sunday because I was thinking maybe I would put this at the beginning of my story my Sunday vlog if you will I don't know I don't know you guys we'll see just because I wanted to drive and talk. I'm thinking maybe this would be a better but I don't know if because there's no we'll see so I chose not to drive and talk, you guys. I I struggled with this little thingamajigger. Anyway, or didn't I don't know. I have to remember where I got it from. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this clip. I'm trying. I'm making an effort to vlog, but I don't know if I'm going to keep this clip. Look it up. <laughs> hey, y'all. I just took a quick shower before it was time to go pick up my grandson from school. So here I go off into public with my wet hair. But it's beautiful outside, except for me, <laughs> scary. So I'm at the school, you guys. I was only talking and driving because I was just leaving my house. But once I get on the main roads, I stop. Stop filming unless the, the phone, because I'm filming with the phone, unless it's on the a little hook up here. Let me show it. This is this is it right here. Sometimes I'll rest it up there. So the bell just rang. He'll probably be coming out right now. I just wanted to pop in and say hey, and the sun is shining. I love it when the sun shines. It's nice and warm right now. Okay, so that happened quick, didn't it? I wanted to pop in here and ask you all if you're prepping. Are you guys prepping? I'm trying not to watch the news, but are you prepping? Right now, I can't afford to prep, but I need to. I need to replenish some of the stuff that I pulled out of my stash, because we do. I do rotate everything. I check everything. And, you know, I bought that really expensive... There's somebody right there. I bought that really expensive um, All-American canner. I haven't used it yet. I need to do that. I'm a little bit afraid of it because it is a pressure cooker. It's the real deal. But I need to try it, break it in, and work on it, figure it out, and get past the fear. So every year, my neighbor directly across the street lets me pick his tree. I'm going to show it to you right now. Mom and I were just there. We only got a few because the sun really got to us both. This, the sun is shining. It got hot. Look at my red face. I'm all sweaty. I need another shower. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day out there, you guys. And 
we need lemons. I'd rather, I don't like to buy them at the store unless the, when these trees are blooming. Let me show it to you. See that right there? I don't know if I can zoom in. Okay, so I zoomed in. That's the tree right there. And we did quite, get quite a few. I'll show you how many lemons we got. So I'll show you what we got. I only cracked that one, so I kept it separate. And here are the lemons that we got. Let me turn the lights on. Look at that, honey. It's quite a few. But we don't want the lemons to go to waste, so... I'm going to keep picking them and sharing them with neighbors and my brother and my aunties and whoever wants them can have lemons. The neighbor says he's got four other trees in the backyard, so he lets me have at it at the one that I just showed you. He says, those are yours. Take as many. Take them all. I said, okay. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Yes. Welcome to my very humble, <laughs> boring, but blessed, blessed life. Let me look into the camera. I'm like all over the place. I have the camera upside down because I'm actually holding it with my left hand. Honestly, I'm going to tell you, I'm extremely disturbed by that chemtrail over my house. That's a fresh one. It's low and it's directly over this whole area right here. And it disturbs me greatly because it's a chemtrail. Do you guys know what's in those things? Do you know what they're doing? Do you? I think I do. Of course I don't have proof. I don't have proof. But holy cow, if it's true, if any of that stuff is true, this is not good. Look at that. Wow. Okay, you guys, so last night I went in for a second round of getting uh, lemons from my neighbor's tree. They gave me permission. He goes like, you guys don't even have to ask. Each year, just come and get what you want. I have other lemon trees in the backyard because I offered to pick for them too. He's like, oh no, we have the pick tree uh, picking tools and we have more of these trees. So the one out here is a little hard to get to because the ground is like in an incline. But I have to kick my shoes off to get a balance. It's really hard to look up and then reach while you're balancing. I've... Do you guys think I'm paranoid? I have been doing a lot of research. And then, you know, you get your yay and nay stuff about it. People say that it's not chemtrail. A lot of people say it does. Um... Tell me what you think. I'm curious to know what you think about those things. Okay, I just got back from taking my grandson to school. And I was filming the sky as I was coming back. That plane that is doing the chemtrails is hard at work. He's still up there. He's still up there spraying the skies just right in this area. He's really hyper-focused in this area. And I'm aware of it. And it's driving me crazy, you guys. It's driving me nuts. Because who gives whoever that's doing that, who gives them the right to spray us whatever is in that witch's brew that they're spraying over us? Because that's, that's a term I've heard for it before. The witch's brew. Alexa, what is being sprayed into our skies? Here's something I found on the web. According to GreenlandInfo.com, the witch's brew being sprayed in the sky consists of particulate matter containing polymers, mold, fungi, heavy metals, and sulfur, all of which work synergistically in us and our environment to disrupt the health of soil, plants, animals, and human life. Wow. Okay, you guys. It's, I'm just having a regular day. I'm still in my morning warm clothes from when I got up to um, go take my grandson to school but it's just it's an and it's a warm day I shouldn't be dressed like this but why am I telling you doesn't matter does it let's go shop I am at a different dollar general that's what I wanted to say okay so that was a total bust um 
the only Easter things they had in this store that I could see, and I kind of did a like a little brisk walk through, and I'll show you guys because I I did film my little brisk walk through. Um, there's a lot of people up front. Are you getting in the car next to me? There's a, a lot of people up front right by where the few things, the Easter things, and it was mostly Easter bunny chocolate chocolate candies and a couple of pre-made Easter baskets. So that was not going to be a while. I will just go ahead and insert this, whatever footage I got in there, if it's any good, into my vlog. Okay, I have an early morning doctor's appointment, and man, oh man, I'm in my garage, you guys, so don't get scared. Um, we had a mega downpour last night. I must have been all those chemtrails that we had the other day probably caused all that. That's just my opinion. Just my opinion, you guys. You know that's my pet peeve, are those chemtrails. Oh, yeah, it's nice and wet out there. Look at that. Grass got watered. There's a nice lemon tree. I gave a lot of the lemons I shared. I give them away. And we've been having our lemon water drink every night. I'm going to get some more. I got to take this. Oops. I got to take that today, too. I got errands to do. These are the types of days that I like to stay home and not have something that I absolutely have to do. And I absolutely have to go to this appointment today. Gosh darn it. Rosie, give me your honey.